Shanali, walk us through this. Uh, two big changes here uh, for two uh, very important people, Shanali, and a lot of speculation as to why they're being moved around. Yeah, absolutely. Every time you see a release this expansive with so many names being put out by J.P. Morgan, you wonder where it falls in the succession story. So I want to point out a couple people in particular. Jennifer Pipsack, who had run the Consumer and Community Bank alongside Marianne Lake, she is now being moved to a more institutional business. She's moving over to become a co-CEO of a commercial and investment bank alongside Troy Rohrbach, who has really been rising up the ranks quite meaningfully at J.P. Morgan. Remember, this is a very uh, competitive time, Romaine, for the market businesses across Wall Street. And investment banking and markets are two power engines at J.P. Morgan. It also brings Jennifer Pipsack back to her roots in some ways in that business, but in a very, very senior role as the co-CEO of that business. Remember, she's one of few women across the industry as well to be leading such a massive uh, investment banking business at that scale. Uh, and, you know, what's interesting, too, is you'll have now Marianne Lake as the sole CEO of the Consumer and Community Bank, which is that big card business, and the business more tied to households. These two women are very closely watched in the line of succession, and now just a Another thing, a new thing really added to Jennifer Pipsack's ranks here in, in her portfolio. Yeah, and it's worth mentioning as well, Marianne Lake, the former CFO of J.P. Morgan, so she's kind of made the rounds in, term of, in terms of these top C-suite positions. Walk us through uh, the main people we should be watching here. Uh, you mentioned, of course, Jen Pipsack. You've also mentioned Marianne Lake. Uh, there's also Mary Erdos, who we need to kind of keep in mind in terms of the possible successors to Jamie Dimon. Yeah, uh, certainly so. I would say that lately there's definitely been a lot more conversation about the other two women who have been rising around the ranks. Remember, when you're J.P. Morgan or any other bank for that matter, uh, giving people a chance to oversee different businesses is very important here, which is why so much of Wall Street, so many investors are watching how Marianne Lake and uh, particularly Jen Pipsack at this point are being moved around. One big worry about J.P. Morgan is what J.P. Morgan looks like without Jamie Dimon, because he's built such a massive bank that tends to lead in so many different businesses. They want to see whoever his successor will be, be able to keep J.P. Morgan number one, and if not number one, at least number two in most of the business lines they're in, which is why this breadth of experience matters so much in terms of moving people around as yeah. they're planning their succession story. 